Hi everyone, this is Alicia Lowen from Decimal Accounting Inc. and I'm coming to you with some news today about the SIBA loan. Now this was uh, unexpected because I didn't think that they would be doing any extension on the SIBA loan but as soon as I heard about this I felt it was important to do a video about it and share that news. So what I'm going to do is go to the source on the CRA site and um, announce what they have put there and then give my interpretation of what that means. So let's get to the site. Here I have the link for the um, Government of Canada page um, and I'll skip through the to the important stuff here. So this was just announced yesterday, September 14th. Um, there's extended deadlines for the SIBA loan repayments and additional flexibilities for people looking to benefit for the partial loan forgiveness. So a lot of our clients and a lot of small business owners in Canada were able to get the SIBA loan, either the $40,000 SIBA loan, which has a $10,000 potential loan forgiveness, or the expanded loan, which was an increase to 60,000, and 20,000 of that is um, able to be forgiven. But with the current state of the economy for a lot of businesses, it is proving to be very difficult to repay even that um, the 30,000 or the 40,000 required in order to actually get the forgiveness. So I know that a lot of business owners are a little stressed about how they're gonna pay this back. So this news just comes out from Government of Canada. It's not fantastic, but it's better than nothing. So, okay, so here they're just talking about the loan. So I'm gonna skip ahead to the terms. So what is going to happen is there will be a, a very slight extension to January 18th of 2024. That's really only a few extra weeks. So they've said that that's because they are recognizing the end of December is a busy time for many Canadian businesses. So that is an extra few weeks that's just gonna be for everybody. So January 18th, 2024. Then it talks about applying for a refinancing loan with your financial institution that you got the SIBA loan from in the first place. So the bank that you have your SIBA loan with, you should talk with your bank about if it's possible to get a refinancing loan because what they've said here is that for SIBA loan holders who are in that process of the refinancing, then for those people, they get three extra months. So the repayment deadline to qualify for the partial loan forgiveness will have a refinancing extension until March 28th, 2024. I think that the idea here is that they're understanding that the banks are going to be inundated with businesses looking for that refinance. Um, and I think what people would be trying to do is, let's say you owe the $60,000 SIBA loan, you've not made any payments on it or you've only made a little bit of payments and it's not realistic that you're going to be able to pay $40,000 by the end of December. So what they're suggesting is get a refinancing loan from your bank for $40,000 and then use that 40,000 to pay off the SIBA loan of 60,000 so that you don't miss out on that $20,000 loan forgiveness. That is a huge chunk of money that um, I'm sure all the business owners out there would love to take advantage of at the time that it was COVID, you know, it was kind of, we'll worry about the repayment when it comes to it. <laughs> at least that's how I felt. Um, and so now this is the time that we are having to repay. So if you can get the refinancing loan, then you are, once you're in that application process, you will have an extended deadline to kind of organize that refinancing of March 28th, 2024. So three extra months. Okay, and then it's talking about all of the outstanding loans, including those that are captured by the refinancing extension, will convert to three-year term loans subject to interest of 5%. So 
uh, with the learn with the term loan repayment date extended by an additional year from December 31st, 2025 to December 31st, 2026. So the terms will be, so we're coming up on December 31st, 2023. So what they're saying is from that date, December 31st, 2023, they will convert your SIBA loan into a three year term. So to go December 31st, 2026. I guess they were originally planning on making it only a two year term, which would mean that those payments you're gonna to have to make are much larger. So if we can spread it over three years, the payments will be a little bit lower. So an extra year there on if you are not able to pay the SIBA loan, what's gonna happen is it'll convert to a three year loan from now until the end of 2026 at 5%. 5%, I feel like they could have done a little better than that for us, but at least it's still lower than prime. Prime is over 6% right now. So I do feel like um, this is pretty fair to give a 5% rate. So that's what's gonna happen with the outstanding loans. Um, and then this last section is giving some examples. So I'll read these two examples out and one of these might sound like your situation. So it says, Sarah and Nick need to pay off their 40,000 SIBA loan, but are unable to pay the full amount in time to benefit from 10,000 in partial loan forgiveness. So if that's you and you have a $40,000 loan, then you need to repay 30,000 by the end of the year or by January 19th, 2024 now. So if you have not paid it on that date, their loan converts to a three-year term loan with 5% interest they will make monthly interest payments of around $167 per month and will only be required to pay the principal amount just before the term loan repayment deadline of December 31st, 2026. Okay, this is good news. That's a very clear example because I was wondering about what is the monthly payment going to be. So if you still have the loan open, it's going to be interest only at 5% for the next three years. So that principal amount, that 40,000, then you still have that amount to pay at the end of December, 2026. So that will actually help in the meantime that it's gonna be interest only. Okay, the second example says, Doug applies for 40,000 in financing from the bank that provided his SIBA loan to pay off his 60,000 SIBA loan. He's unable to receive a response from his uh, bank by January 18th, however, with the new refinancing extension, he has until March 28th, 24, to hear back from his bank and secure new financing to pay off his SIBA loan and benefit from the 20,000 in partial loan forgiveness. So it is currently September 15th, so definitely reach out to your bank and see if you can get a refinancing loan to cover that. If not, don't worry, it's going to be interest only for the next three years at 5%. I hope that answers your questions about the SIBA loan. And this has been some tax tips from Decimal Accounting. And my name again is Alicia Lowen. I'm the owner of Decimal Accounting. Thank you, everyone. Hope you have a wonderful rest of your day.